Peace and blessings. This is Lisa Marie Goodson of the Blackberry Beauty Transformative Academy. Ancient African wisdom for the modern sister. Do y'all see me out here in this beautiful weather, in this beautiful park? Actually, this is actually right across from the apartment buildings that we live in in uh, the small town in North Carolina I always tell you about. So my YouTubers that are watching this, this is for you because somebody said, I miss you. I miss you just doing YouTubes for us. But of course, I'm going to share it on Facebook. So if you're watching, hi, how are you? So y'all, I know um, my Facebook uh, folks, or actually my YouTubers, you don't know this because I shared this on Facebook yesterday, but I'm actually going into a 21 day fast. So I'm going into a 21 day fast, and I started uh, two days ago, so today is my third day, and I'm doing a liquid fast. So, and of course, it's because I'm getting ready for my fasting intensive. It's a three hour intensive. It's actually on, April 23rd, so it's the Sunday after Easter Sunday. Again, it's April 23rd, and it's going to be three hours. And I was thinking about it today. I was like, what would I teach them in a way differently or something different than I've taught them ever before, like in the future, or, how, or teaching it in a different way in general? What do I feel like this fasting intensive needs to be? And Spirit was really clear to me, y'all. And before I tell you what Spirit said, I want to tell you something else, too. You know, I know I've been telling y'all that I've been unable to take a bath. And it's been really bothering me. I feel like it took me out of balance. I, I felt like my connection to Spirit, I wasn't able to commune with Spirit the way I want to. There was a lot about it that was really, I felt like, hurting my, my own spirit. And so I figured it out. You know, my husband had told me this a while ago. He said, look. So let me tell you what the issue was. The issue was that I live in this new place and um, the water is, even though it's well water, which is the greatest water ever, it is highly chlorinated because I live in an apartment building. And so I, look, I, I got a bathtub filter, but the bath filter was not good. The chlorine was still you know, evident. And so eventually I said to myself, you know what, I'm, I, I also had a shower filter and I, I, the shower filter works great, the bath not so good. My husband said, why don't you run the shower into the bathtub until it fills up and then you'll have a bath with the filtered water. And I was like, oh, we'll see. And I remember one time I attempted it, but it took a while for the bathtub to fill up. And I was like, eh, I don't even really want to do it, you know. And so for four months, well, no, December, January, February, March, right. For four months, I have been without a bath. Wait, I, I, I wash now. I've been taking showers. And it's just not the same for me as a goddess, as a woman. And I feel like the, the things that I want to teach you about fasting, I'll tell you what Spirit told me. Spirit said, you have to bring the spirituality back to fasting. That because of the way we do things on the internet, everything is for instant beauty or instant weight loss or instant glow. And none of the, fa the fasting has become almost like a fad. It's a way to get beautiful. It's a way to lose weight. But what about the real meaning of fasting? And so in my next Sunday, a week from this Sunday, April 23rd intensive, I'm going to bring the spirituality back into fasting. I find that if you want long lasting results, if you have a desire, if you have a want, if there's something you really want and you're ready to make it happen, and you just do a regular fast and you're not including, you know, reading uh, spiritual text or, you know, affirmations or, you know, I'm gonna teach you how to do all that. What affirmations I do, what, how I create affirmations around something, and how the fasting can expedite the manifestation of the things that you say that you want. So I'm going to be talking about first how to set up your kitchen, not just your kitchen, but every room in your house to benefit your fasting. I mean, I'm talking about what to keep at your on your nightstand, what to keep at the foot of your bed. I'm talking about what to keep under your bed, what to keep under your pillow. I'm talking about all, all the, way, the way that you do the laundry, the way that you buy your food, the way that you set up your kitchen, all of that. But I'm also talking about the spiritual things, the affirmations, the visualizations, so that you can be successful. I've been fasting for over 30 years, so I know that I know a little something about it. And I'm just saying to y'all, like I'm in the sun, it is so hot, I am sweating, and that is exactly what fasting is all about. It is to seriously purge not just your body, but your spirit. And that's the part that's left out. 
and I want to show you how to do that. Again, it's on the website. Um, it's going to be April 23rd. It's the Sunday after Easter, for those that want to know. And it's $97. It's three hours. It's going to be a live intensive. And I know, I know, I know you're going to love it. We're going to talk about this idea of water right now. This river right here is called the Har River. It is a beautiful river. Isn't it gorgeous? My husband and I walk through this park every day. I'm going to tell you about getting out of nature. I told my husband today because, y'all, I've been eating cooked food for four months. So let me see, January, February, March, for three months. I didn't eat in December. For three months, I've been eating cooked food. And so to fast after having all that good, delicious food, it is not easy. And I had to remember, what did I do? What did I do when I needed to fast? How was I successful? And I remember certain things, affirmations, certain affirmations, certain visualizations, but also getting out in nature. That was probably the, one of the biggest things that I did that helped me to fast. Being in the sun, being in nature, being near the river, you know, so important. I'm telling you, my fasting course will be like none you've ever taken. And I know, too, let me say this, I'm also coming to you because I know how difficult it is to stay committed to a three-day, a five-day, a seven-day, a 21-day, a 40-day fast. I actually did a 60-day liquid fast, so I know it could be done. And so I'm just, I'm calling on spirit. Y'all, spirit talked to me today. Spirit said, you have to start getting up again at 4 in the morning. And so we're going to talk about how that can happen for you or how we can pick a time that's great for you so that you can fast and that's going to help you to be successful. You know, it's funny, I'm just getting like emotional because I realized that there's so much that I, well, first of all, I realized that I need a fast, that I, and I'll tell you what really prompted it. Of course, it was the fasting, upcoming fasting intensive. But another thing was, you know, I started to experience like some kind of like swelling or feeling of swelling in my teeth again. If you remember a couple of years ago, I had an abscess. And that abscess prompted me to do a 60-day liquid fast. For those that's new and don't know, I did do a 60-day fast. I felt amazing, incredible. I looked my best and I just felt so energetic. You know, I, and prior to, even though this is my third day on my liquid fast, three days prior, I started doing raw foods. And it's been amazing. My energy level is so high. I feel so close, you know, to spirit and nature. And I just feel more like I can decide on what is next in my life. And so if you wanted to know what's next in your life, if you want to determine what's next in your life, I really urge you to take the fasting 101. And so, yes, I'm going to fast until the feeling of this abscess, or if it is, it hasn't come up, and maybe it won't, will go away. But I also know that that was spirit saying, look, you said you were talking about eating healthy with the seasons. Well, not eating is also eating healthy with the seasons. And you know that it's spring. And you know you must need to fast. Do you understand that I think that one of the most powerful, most important, most life-changing fast out of all the seasonal fasting is the spring equinox, is the one we're about to do right now. And so I really wanted to share that with you. You know, like I said, I am like sweating and I don't I, I and it's the best thing that I can do so let me just tell you a little bit about what I'm doing right now I'm still going for the, the, the either a gallon of water but I get to three quarts the last few days I've been doing three quarts of water a day and I'm also doing smoothies I'm gonna start adding some fresh fresh juices which I'm going to show you some of my famous recipes I'm going to be of course the smoothies I did a raw soup today which is very liquidy you can actually drink it I call it a soup because it's not quite a smoothie it doesn't have fruit in it it has nothing but vegetables today I made an avocado tomato lemon spike seasoning Himalayan sea salt and actually that was it I also bought some herbs of oregano uh, I didn't get the basil I was looking for. They didn't have it. Rosemary and I forget the other one, sage. And so I'm going to be adding all these to my raw soups. But y'all, I'm telling you, if you want that change, if you see me progress, you know, you know that I know what to do and how to do it. And I also wanted to remind everybody that, remember, I'm doing a summer intensive. The summer intensive is guess what, I mean, what's for dinner. It is a six-week course training course meets every Friday night it's a live stream and you'll be invited into my kitchen and we're going to make food yes so and, and, and that's going to be on May 12th so May 12th I'll be over with my liquid fast but I'm going to remain raw my goal hopefully is to remain raw no my goal creator willing is to be raw for the entire spring and summer months I want to go into my 50th year just vibrant and wonderful 
You know, y'all, I do have to tell you, you know, raw is amazing. Raw is beautiful. Raw is spiritual. But, but your life of veganism is spiritual in general. You know, I know that I've been called back to this for right now. I'm gonna let that truck go by. And, um, and I'm okay with it, you know. I just, I want you to excel. I want you to, 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 to have something that when you take a course from mine, you feel like I got a direction. I don't need to take 50 courses anymore. And my fasting is not about just being beautiful. It's about being beautiful on the inside. It's about talking to the Creator. But more importantly, it's about listening and hearing the voice of the Creator. And I can hear that. I feel so blessed. I feel like there was a gift given to me. You know, almost like a person who lost their sight and got it restored. Or a person who was in the accident and, and, and the, the wonderful, you know, surgeons put the body back together again. I feel like that when it comes to me taking a bath. So I take sea salt baths, we're gonna talk about a lot about the sea salt baths, the things that I add to the baths, why I add it, all of this is fasting. And I'm gonna be, so it's very hands-on, we're gonna be in and around my home, and, I just, and I'm gonna give you a supplemental video too of me outside in nature doing some yoga, I didn't tell you that, you can, but that one will be recorded. I'm gonna do a recorded video, and it's gonna be part of the fasting intensive, and you're gonna see me out in nature, in this area where we are now, with my mat out, and doing beautiful yoga. So, I just wanna say, you know, thank you so much for all your support and love. Also, the Afro Central channel, my Afro Central channel, Home Decor channel, the video will be up. It is my husband and I, we were at the Raleigh Farmer's Market on Saturday, and we also did some shopping at places like Marshall's and Ross, and I took you with me, and I hope that you enjoy it all. I am just loving this. I'm going to talk about Oshun, the goddess of the river, and the offerings that I want you that I, I want to teach you about. I don't know if I ever taught you about the offerings that I've made for many years to, to the goddess Oshun or Yemenya, and uh, and just the water goddesses in general. And I just want to bring you back to yourself. You know, don't count me out, y'all. I won the Black Power Award for Health and Wellness because that's what's important to me. You know, my journey is my journey, and you and I and I respect my journey, and I hope that you do too. You know, and like I said, it's interesting being cooking, eating cooked food for three months, and now fasting. It definitely feels more difficult. I told my husband, I said it feels inhumane, but what I mean is my body is so used to that amount of food. So if I, when I complete this, it's gonna be the bomb. And for those that don't know either, I'm actually, you know, my sister is celebrating her 51st birthday in, uh, in the Bahamas. Uh, she's going on a cruise. I've never been on a cruise. I thought I wasn't into cruises, but for my sister, I, I'm going to do it. And for myself, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you all with me, and I'm going to chart, uh, uh, in a sense, my course on navigating through uh, the, 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 you know, the cruise ships and how to eat vegan for me vegan uh, for four days or five days in May and I'm going to take you with me and we're going to decide see how the best ways to do it you know like I said y'all I love you I want you I would love your support again the six week training course what's for dinner when you come in and we're teaching you how to make a meal how to set the table up different ideas that one is um that one starts like I said May 12th and I forgot I was gonna say about it, y'all. But anyway, that one is, oh, it's only $197. And normally, every training, six week training course I did has been $500, $497. It's only $197. And I'm gonna set it up for also payment arrangements for those that need it. What a beautiful way, thing to do in the, in the, in the summer months, the summer training course is to come into my home and experience the love that my husband and I have. We're actually, my husband and I together are creating a cookbook because my husband is a fabulous cook and I'm gonna actually add the raw dishes to it. He's gonna add the cooked dishes to it. So it's gonna be something for everyone. And it's a project that I'm working on with my marketing team and uh, yeah, and it's also gonna kick, we, we wanna have it done by 2018 because as many of you know, I'll be speaking at Brown University in Rhode Island as well. So yes, I'm gonna just go get some water and allow the rays to just bathe me. You know, when you're hungry, one tip I wanna give you a fasting. When you're hungry, when you feel like you're gonna break down, you're gonna go get that solid food, the sun, sit in the sun because the sun feeds us. So. 
Yeah, so much though. Let's bring the spirituality back. Let's bring the spirituality back to the fasting and watch magic happen. I started reminiscing about, you know, when I was in the bathtub, I started reminiscing about, you know, when I used to fast. I'm talking about way before I got on YouTube. The things that I did and where I've been. I mean, look at me. Y'all just know in the last seven to eight years, my journey. Y'all know this where I started from. You know where I've been, the places I've lived. And now I'm in North Carolina, 18.5 acres of land purchased with my husband. And we're going to build a house soon. And I'm going to have retreats and you are going to come. You know, fasting brings up emotions too. And we want to talk about that in the three-hour training course. You know, this, the intensity my those emotions that will come up because it's very deep and I didn't even know it was coming up until I talked to you but it's something that you want to keep and understand it so that you won't quit and you will understand why you're feeling so emotional because those emotions are fuel to move you towards the life you say that you want so I love you all with all my heart and uh, so YouTube you wanted a video for you I'm gonna be doing more of these I promised YouTube a video weekly as well as I'll do the live streams I don't do them at night anymore I do them in a the day when I'm out and about and that seems to work well for me I love you all with all of my heart and I hope to see you in so April 23rd is the $97 three hour live intensive it's on the website you can go to it www.thethebeauty.com I'll leave that information in the description box also the May 12th I have it as May 5th on the on the um, website, I'm going to change that. I'm going to be out of town, but you're coming with me. I'll be in Bahamas, and we're going to do. Actually, the theme is it's a it's a house party. We're going with this house group, and when we get off in the, in the different parts of the islands, it's going to be tents set up with house music. So we're my sister and I. We yeah, I don't know my house head. I used to be when I was younger, and I still love it. So I know, and so and y'all, it's all about the tribal house. We're talking about tribal house. Is that so important? And y'all coming with me. So support me. Don't forget to $99, the spiritual awakening of the black woman. Formerly uh, black uh, spirit, uh, what is it? Formerly women who run with the womb. One whole year, the whole program you can do at home. $99 only for the month of April. Also, I got the video bundle of me doing a vegan cornbread demonstration from the book Spicy Tasty Vegan. Me also making my own cleaning products, making my sea salt scrub, and I think I'm doing how to make some honey, vegan honey muffins as well. And so for $27, you can get that bundle. All right, y'all. Sister needs some water. Y'all see me sweating, and it feels so good. And I just want you, for a minute before we turn it off, I just want you, if you could hear, I don't know if you could hear the water, and I don't know if you could hear the birds, because I know we got a little traffic on. But I'm going to be quiet for a few minutes, and we're just going to check out the sounds. Love you all, and I'll see you on the Afrocentric channel. Looking forward to it. Peace and blessings.